Hello audience, this is Dennis Seatsma, Homestead, Florida, USA, Dennis John Seatsma Productions. To distinguish myself from other Seatsmas that are named Dennis, it's October 19th, 2023, October 19th, 2023, it's a Thursday, 78 degrees in the workshop at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Subject to this video is the uh, ongoing work for the GT9, uh, GT5000, almost upgraded, GT5000 uh, riding lawn tractor that I bought in uh, 2003 and I think I paid $1,500 for it back then. I want to buy a new tractor but I can't find one that has equal power uh, to this 25 horse Kohler Commander uh, the model number is Charlie Victor 730-0017 and where I am now is I have a quandary a dilemma I keep shearing the woodruff key and it takes a little bit of work to get the flywheel on and off because the ignition coils are in the way but I got even no matter how hard I tighten it I feel the play here that is causing it to shear off. You can see the play. Now if this was righty tight it, you wouldn't have any play whatsoever and this play is what's causing it to shear with combustion. Now this washer is designed it's a spring washer heavy duty to apply extra power on the flywheel to hold it in a tapered fit against the crankshaft. Now for some reason this is not working. No matter how hard I tighten it I can't get rid of this play and it this should do it um, by tightening this enough. Now I tried using a 13 millimeter six point and it didn't help. Uh, I buy a set of millimeter socket six point hardened steel well marked from Summit Racing they got a dandy scent set for a quarter inch drive or no what is it three eighths yeah three eighths inch drive Summit Racing and I need to buy another set I guess and have it shipped but that doesn't help me I need a washer that's more than one inch in diameter because if I could get a washer that goes outside the diameter of the shaft and the shaft is like one inch and just you know like a skinny millimeter bigger than one inch is the shaft I would have a surface there that I could apply pressure to but I can't find a I got one I got a washer that is uh, a a red hair just a hair short of <clears throat> I'm assuming a red hair is thicker than any other color of hair um, it's just it's not it's slightly bigger and I can't get a washer like that unless I go to a specialty store like here in South Florida Southeast Florida South Miami South is uh, Mitchell's hardware and welding supply Mitchell's near the Falls which is around I don't know 128th Street Miami and US 1 Federal Highway uh, I gotta go there and talk to them face to face because if I call them up say hey I need something slightly bigger than one inch inner diameter they're not gonna understand what I need and I have to go face to face and I also have to go to the Miami pump and get a fitting for my water pump here on the farm and it's not a farm it's a tropical fruit grove south north northwest of Homestead Florida USA exit 5 on the Florida Turnpike and I grow tropical fruits here and I sell to MiamiFruit.com and Brooks Tropicals uh, online um, they're the packing houses I sell to and I'm looking to market my culls if I can find somebody that will buy my culls and inspect them keep me legal 
and give me production records and production records are very important to any farm operation uh, USDA wants them IRS wants them without production records I'm whistling in the wind so anyway back to the engine problem I don't know what to do except go there and pray that I can find what I need to hold this flywheel tightly against the shaft with an extra washer and I checked the parts list online and Kohler shows it like this so but there's southeast engines or southeast southeastern in Cutler Bay and they got a really good mechanic there named Sixto and uh, he's really good at these Kohlers. I'm gonna call him and see what he says what he tells me and there's another mechanic here at Taylor Rental that's really good with Kohler engines I'm gonna ask him too and uh, see what they tell me I should start a social media group for this engine because they made zillions of these but maybe in the future I got my hands full right now with projects so doing more on social medias anyway please subscribe please I normally don't ask that but uh, you can ups unsubscribe if you don't like my content but I need more subscribers uh, to make this worthwhile for me to keep doing these videos my name is Dennis Seatsma and that's how I am on YouTube Dennis John Seatsma Productions Homestead Florida USA do-it-yourself work can be dangerous death or injury can result and this is not a how-to video this is a documentary this is a video log so any work you do is at your own risk this is not a how-to there may be a better way to do this work than what I'm doing and I'm learning so here we go thank you for watching audience 